excerpt from the Redemption Manual 4.5 section called Theory of Cognitive Dissonance. Dissonance, lack of agreement, consistency, more harmony, discord. As computers go, the human brain is without parallel or parity when compared to even the most sophisticated man-made computer. Nevertheless, it is a computer, and like all computers, it can be programmed. There is a theory, known as the theory of cognitive dissonance, which holds that the mind involuntarily rejects information not in line with previous thoughts and or actions. V. Leon Festinger may have been the first person to document the law of cognitive dissonance, but he was certainly not the first to observe it. Right? Since the most ancient times, mind controllers have been enticing free people into servitude. Parentheses, piping them on board, so to speak. Close parentheses. By taking advantage of man's tendency to generate cognitive dissonance. In his book, A Theory of Cognitive Dissonance, Stanford University Press, 1957, Festinger says that new events or new information create an unpleasantness, a dissonance with existing knowledge, opinion, or cognition concerning behavior. When this happens, pressures naturally arise within the person to reduce the dissonance. Not reconciling the new information with the old, but reducing the dissonance. Right? V.L. Festinger further stated that the strength of the pressures to reduce the dissonance is a function of the magnitude of the dissonance. Right? Dissonance acts in the same way as a state of drive, need, or tension. The greater or the greater the dissonance, the greater will be the intensity of the action to reduce the dissonance and the greater the avoidance of situations that would increase the dissonance. A person can deal with the pressure generated by the dissonance by changing the old behavior to harmonize with information. But if the person is too committed to the old behavior and way of thinking, he simply rejects the new information. A simple, I don't believe it, thought or word is the easy cop-out. For if you are unaware, you are unaware of being unaware. Cognitive dissonance. So cognitive dissonance, right? And you don't want to do the new thing or receive new information you don't like change you don't want to deal with change and to not deal with change you put a whole lot of things between yourself and change right and the greater you know I mean the dissonance the more you'll try to reduce the dissonance take to drinking, smoking, whatever vice you can put in front of yourself to not deal with the changes or the new thing that has come along. Right? We all do it to some extent. of what this place is 
what this system is, you know I mean, and how we operate in it to our detriment. New information comes through with processes to address those situations. But cognitive dissonance. this system the way you're supposed to deal with this system as a creditor. Because the corporation the United States is in debt and they're using our credit. So you need to buckle down and embrace that. And let go of the dissonance can't be lazy. You gotta read up, study up. You know what I mean? All of it should go under the heading of knowledge of self. And should always be trying to obtain knowledge of self. I ain't gonna hold y'all though. Cognitive dissonance. 